start with a number line. And this is proper fraction multiplication. So I'm going to label my endpoints 0 and 1 because I know my product will also be a proper fraction or a number less than 1. Looking for 1 third of 3 fourths. So I'll start by dividing the number line into fourths. I want to mark 3 fourths. I'll highlight that to show the length 3 fourths. Now I'm looking for 1 third of 3 fourths. So I've got to segment the length 3 fourths into thirds. And luckily, that's already done here for us. Thirds. I want to mark 1 third of 3 fourths. And I will highlight that length. And then I can name this point on the number line by looking at my whole. So this number line is segmented into fourths, and this spot is one fourth. You can do my computation here. Three times one is three, three times four is 12, and I can simplify by dividing by three to get one fourth. I can also model the problem using an area model. So I'll start with a rectangle, and I'm looking for one third of three fourths. So I'm going to start by dividing my rectangle into fourths. I'll highlight one fourth, or I'm sorry, three fourths. So that's the number I'm starting with, three fourths. And then what I'm looking for here is one third of three fourths. So my next step is going to be to divide this rectangle into thirds. Now I'll highlight one third, and this overlapping area represents my product. So I've got one, two, three cells with an overlap out of 12 total cells. And again, I can simplify by dividing by three to get my product one fourth.